in surah number 11. When you read surah number 11, what you'll find is Allah talks about four or five different nations that Allah destroyed. The wrath and the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fell upon these people. It ravaged these people. It eradicated these people from the face of the earth. And when you read it, you'll, you'll feel overwhelmed. The Prophet ﷺ felt overwhelmed. The Sahaba looked at the Prophet ﷺ, Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu in one narration, looks at the Prophet ﷺ and he says, Shibta ya Rasulullah. You've gotten old, O Messenger of Allah. He saw some white hairs. So he says, you've, got, you've grown old, O Messenger of Allah. And the Prophet says, Shayya batni hud wa akhawatuha. Surah Hud made me old. Surah Hud made my hair, my hair go gray. Think about that. So when you read that, you're overwhelmed by reading about the wrath and the anger and the punish, punishment of Allah. And then take that into consideration. How fierce, how powerful the wrath and the anger of Allah is. And then listen to this. Allah Himself says, no matter how powerful or overwhelming my wrath and my anger might be, in the rahmati sabaqat ghadabi. But my mercy, it supersedes and it overcomes my wrath and my anger. Imagine how powerful the anger of Allah is, but then imagine how powerful the mercy of Allah is, that it's more powerful than that. That's who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is.